Cobra's World is back for another season, and this is the only place where you'll be able to see your favorite world sports betting Cape Cobra's players in somewhat of a different light. Coming up in this bumper issue, the four-day domestic series is in full swing, and world sports betting Cape Cobra's batsman Awiwe Mgajima invites you to see what it's like for him on game day, as he takes you where no camera has gone before. Head coach Ashwell Prince and bowler Ntewikaye Nabe put their football skills to the test at one of Cape Town City FC's home matches and we catch up with the players to get more interesting answers. Morning guys, how are you? Uh, welcome to my home. Um, this is the morning of a game and I'd like to take you through some of the things I do on a morning before a game. Uh, please come in. Uh, as you can see the <laughs> The garden there is obviously not as lush as Newlands. Um, obviously, water restrictions don't <laughs> are not helping us. But yeah, uh, at Newlands we'll show you the better better grass there. Please come through. Um, so guys, I don't do anything differently from a normal day to day to uh, match day uh, per se. So I, as you can see, I was re uh, watching a series that I missed out on last night. Uh, in this house we sleep actually quite early and wake up very early so because my wife has to go to work. Um, so yeah, we up, we're about to eat right now actually. So come through and have a look at what I sometimes have for breakfast. Um, this is my wife, Siva. Hi everyone. Uh, beautiful, like eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I please have some muesli, baby? Um, so yeah, we... I'm not a big breakfast kind of guy, I don't have a lot of eggs and sausages in the mornings before a game. I like to have uh, just cereal normally. And there's usually a lot of um, snacks at the ground too, so you don't really have to eat a lot. There is a saying that states behind every successful man is a strong woman. So let's find out from Siba Ngojima about the habits that Aviwe has at home. So Siba, is Aviwe a messy guy? No, you know, he's, he's a guy. He's a guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he is a guy, he's, he's quite clean, I must say, but obviously it's not up to my, I wouldn't say I'm OCD, but I'm a girl, I'm a very girly girl, so um, I do tend to clean up after him quite, quite often, but it's not because he's untidy, but it's just not as tidy as I would prefer it. <laughs> Shame, he's, he's good, he's good for the most part. Who handles the washing of his cricket whites? I, I prefer to because I have to put all the extra... You know the grass burns and the mud? They never, especially the pants and the collars. So you know that little bit of extra vanish or that bit of spray or sometimes I actually find that handy and it also quite, works quite well with the, with the stains. So I've gotten quite creative with trying to get them out. While the Mgajimas enjoy their breakfast, let's head over to the beautiful Cape Town Stadium to see what some of the world sports betting Cape Cobra's players and management got up to at a recent Cape Town City FC match. Mti, can you tell us what's about to happen here? Um, we're at the Cape Town Stadium. We're watching Cape Town City versus Golden Arrows. At the moment, we're going down for... And that's a goal for Cape Town City. Well done, boys. And T, I hope the crowd cheers that loud for you when you're down there. Let's try that again. And T, what's about to happen next? Okay, we're at the Cape Town Stadium. We're watching Cape Town City versus Golden Arrows. At the moment, we're going down for the crossbar challenge. Which two of you have been selected? Uh, myself and Coach Eshi. Probably because we <laughs> What's your game plan now for this challenge? Coach is a good footballer, but I think his way of thinking is not correct for now. I'm going to try hit it hard and he's going to go for the chip. He's, he told me he's going for the chip. The time for talking is done. The hours spent playing football at practice and prior to matches has now come down to this moment. Who will have what it takes to prove once and for all they can back up their talking? Let the showdown begin. Ashwell takes the first strike, goes for the chip, but he overcooks it. And T steps up, it's flatter, but sails over the bar. Ashwell goes for another chip with his second attempt. It looks good, but just misses the crossbar. MT waits no time in getting his second attempt off. 
goes for the net buster and it ends up in the stands. Ashwell Prince looks a bit nervous. Final attempt for Ashwell now and the less we say about it, the better. MT with the short run up, puts the laces through it and he gets it, he nails it. Mtui Kai Nabe is the World Sports Bidding Cape Cobra's crossbar challenge champion. Let's touch base with some of the other players to get their thoughts on the challenge. I think that like, uh, yeah, MT is coming right, like, uh, but the first one, uh, not last, but uh, for Kochi and uh, Knight uh, need to practice more. He looked a bit under the palm, his second kick was a bit of an improvement, but the technique was not the right one. It's almost like bowling, first ball you bowl your half ball, <laughs> you try to bring your length back a bit, on the money, Nico out. <laughs> Um, I was quite impressed with the team. But, uh, I was quite disappointed with uh, Coach Hoff. His third one, his third attempt, that speed wobble. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> he scored a goal. I thought he was going to run to the corner flag. <laughs> I, was I think he was more embarrassed about the, the wobble. I think he must, he must play in the city. The pitch is not that great. <laughs> Dane Patterson took the very rare chance at criticising Ashwell with both arms, much to the delight of Claudi Bokako and T. But let's head back to the Mgajima residence as Aviwe gets his game face on. All right, everyone, uh, my wife's finally gone. It's time for me to spend some alone time and focus a bit on the game. I'll see you in a bit. I'm off to change. Cheers. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I've got my bag ready, got my gears on. It's time to head to Newlands. Cheers. If there was a sacred area at Newlands Cricket Ground, then it will most certainly be the players' dressing room. In a first for television, Aviwe takes us inside the World Sports Betting Cape Cobra's dressing room as his teammates get settled in after arriving at the venue. All right, guys, I'm about to take you into the change room now. Uh, usually not many people are allowed into the change room, so it's a bit of a sacred ground, but it's going to be a quick in and out just to see where everyone sits and what everyone's doing before the game starts. Cool, let's go. Matthias, how are you? All right. Jibu. <laughs> Come this way. How are you? How are you? Here's the mic. I'm saying his teeth in the morning. I'm saying his teeth. I'm saying his teeth, everyone. Coach, you all right? There it is. Why are you getting me? I must. Oh. How are you? You all right? Bid. That was a great trip. Welcome back, Skipper. Thanks, man. Welcome back. How was India, eh? Hardcore. 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 Is it? Welcome back. Thanks, thanks. Hopefully, thanks. another 50 wickets this season, eh? <laughs> Six matches. Hey, yeah. Uh, you're a dog, man. All right. This is. Um, here's AK, the youngster. <laughs> and this is where I sit in the change room. This is where I sit in the change room. Uh, yeah, that's a, a little short tour of the change room. Thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully you have a good day today. Cheers. It's time to head to the nets to apply the finishing touches before the match gets underway. Shot there, fella. Someone is looking in form today. That's a fact. Hi, guys. So, uh, as you can see, we're at the net right now. Uh, we've just finished warming up on the field, taking some catches and loosening up and stuff. So, this is a bit of a touch up for the batters that want to hit some balls before who feel like they haven't had enough time in the nets. Uh, so, yeah, just hitting some balls, getting ready for the game. But, yeah, preparation's been good. Looking forward to playing. While Aviwe gets into his playing kit and puts his game face on, we touch base with the players to once again see what crazy answers they come up with this time. Now, name four teammates you would start a band with. Dane Pete, Aviwe and Kijima, Zubay Hamza for the trap. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, and uh, and Andre Berger, just for the chill music, you know, J. Cole and stuff. So those kind of beats. I would go with Lazard. Looks like he's got some good lyrics up his sleeve there, you know. Um, must be AK, a corner definitely in there. Obviously myself is in there. I think I have the, the voice of an angel. Let's throw a Jason Smith in there. Maybe on the drums in the background. Jason Smith could be gone, I think. <laughs> Lead singer in my team, good sense of humor, Yanaman Malan. Someone that has nice hair, probably. Um, hairstyle, Supaya Hamza, he's there for the looks. Another guy that's multi-talented, I'll go with Dane Pitt, it's three. One more will be my good friend, Avi. He's there to do nothing, he's just there. <laughs> <laughs> I would have Yanaman as the, the lead singer. I'd have Dane Pitt as the hype man. Um, I'd have Supay Ramza as the backup dancer as well as Lazard Williams dancing there at the back. One of the management, David Brook, he's got, uh, he can actually sing a bit. Faik Davids, he'll bring the energy. Um, Dane Pitt, he will clown around uh, every day and, and make it fun. And maybe somebody like David Beddingham. He'd probably be playing like a nice, easy, smooth, mellow, slow, not jazz, but soul type of vibe. So i go on the drums, nice and easy on the drums. Uh, we'd have Mr. Jabbar, Shane Jabbar, the fizz on the keyboard. Uh, you know, those fingers work magic, so he'd be on the keyboard. So Baya Hamza on the bass and backup vocals, because he enjoys his, his singing. And then the smooth, smooth sounds of Mr. Fike Davids on the vocals. I think that would be a gun band. Definitely Yanaman. Yanaman sings actually quite nicely, so that's not even being funny. Dane Patterson for comedic value. Zubair Hamza has got a bit of a boy band vibe about him. And then Awiwe Makajima also. He's got good, he's got good, good vibes as well. Yanas, because he's probably the best in the team when it comes to that, he's a singer. Lizzie, because Lizzie has got rhythm. I like to back myself because I like, in my previous life, I used to play drums. I'll probably play drums in my next life. I'll go for coach. In my team, it'll probably be a VWM Kajima. Um, he'll probably be the Johnny Clegg type of guy, take, take, take the lead role. Um, Rory Kleinfeld will probably be on, on some sort of guitar. Um, myself as well on the drums, I love eating things on the drums. And, and Dane Patterson will probably be on some sort of, I know in church he sings in a choir with the apostolic, so. He'll also probably have some sort of mic in front of his mouth and maybe like a trombone or something or something, something weird, a weird instrument. Oh right, I would certainly pay to see some of these bands perform. Let's head now back to the stadium to catch up with Awiwe and see how the rest of the team is doing. All right guys, thank you for joining me today and following me around. Uh, pretty much showing you on how a cricketer's day goes uh, on match day. Uh, we've really had a good day today and hopefully have another great day tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you at Newlands very soon. Cheers, thanks everyone. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Cobra's World and promise there will be plenty more to see in future episodes. For now, follow us across all our social media platforms. Until next time. I can refocus on my own stuff. <laughs> okay guys, I'm ready to head off to Newlands now. Got my gears on, got my bag, ready to... Never mind. <laughs>